Hi everybody. I got quite a few requests to look at Jonathan Kaminga's minutes during the Bulls game. So let's have a close look, focusing on the non-garbage time minutes. So they brought Kaminga in with two minutes in the first and the Warriors, in fact, down six points. So this is not at all garbage time. This is real time. So one of the big things the Warriors wanted Kaminga to catch up on is defense. If he can hold his own defensively, then it's not so important for him to generate offense on this team. He can just pick up the scraps, rebound, cut when it's open. That's how he's going to stay on the floor with decent defense. This possession involves a bunch of switching. Kaminga is going to start off guarding 22 Johnson. The Bulls start with the back screen for DeMar DeRozan. The Warriors smoothly switch this. Otto Porter Jr. was guarding him, but now Kaminga is going to switch over to him. Good job. And I like that Kaminga was pointing to make sure that Otto Porter knew that he was switching and that Porter had new cover. Another screen for this ball handler. Bielitsa will switch to this man. Otto Porter Jr. will switch to the ball handler. The switching is diffusing a lot of the screen action. So the shot clock is running down. The Warriors have done a great job of switching defense. And so now they give it to DeMar DeRozan, who's just going to ISO the rookie. And DeRozan's just going to do a little up fake and get Kaminga to go up and contest, not vertically, and foul him. You can see Mike Brown is right here. I think he's been working with Kaminga because he's more or less the defensive coordinator now. And you can see him with his hands cupped. He's yelling at Kaminga, probably something like, stay down, stay down, don't foul him. And unfortunately, Kaminga goes up, fouls him, and there's the whistle. And then you can see Mike Brown is going to make a motion with his hands, pushing them down like, hey, settle down, settle down. Kaminga is just here like having a direct one-on-one -on -one discussion with Mike Brown. Kaminga can't believe it. He said in the press conference afterwards that he thought that if he was a 10-year veteran, then he wouldn't have been called for that foul, but he's a rookie, so he's called for that kind of foul. I don't know. That, that seemed like a pretty clear foul to me, but anyway. Steve Kerr seems in a pretty good mood, even though the rookie got burned on his very first defensive possession. I think he's saying, ah, 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 youth. There's a jump into him. We have a really good view of Mike Brown over here. There's a foul. There we go. Kaminga is like, what the heck? That was not a foul. And he's looking directly at him saying, hey man, settle down, you're a rookie. Next possession, Kaminga here is guarding Johnson. In this Bulls lineup, Johnson is kind of their center and Kaminga is kind of the Warriors center. So Kaminga is going to do a decent job keeping his body on Johnson. Here's a shot. Kaminga responsibly boxing out. Unfortunately for him, the ball's gonna take a kind of long bounce. Kaminga stays and keeps his body on Johnson, but it takes an unlucky bounce. And it gets picked up by Derek Jones Jr. who just sweeps it in. Next possession, Kaminga's part of this three-man split. There's always someone who dives and someone who gets a pin down. Kaminga is doing this ring around the rosy thing that Steph and other people, including Andre and Clay do. And in doing so, he's going to let Steph pop out and he's going to get in the way of Caruso. Bielitz is also in the way. This is a very effective screen. Caruso gives a little shove and I think he's trying to spin and go around the screen this way. In the meantime, Kaminga feels like Hey, I, I'm going to keep on going. I'm supposed to die, but I can screen both these guys at the same time. Caruso is taking the long way around Bielitsa. Kaminga is causing all kinds of havoc, screening two guys, and Steph is wide open. And you know, sometimes you just miss. The Warriors have been emphasizing getting back in transition, so everyone's getting back, except they usually send one man, sometimes two men, to just go in and just try to swipe the rebound. Sometimes it's Gary Payton the second. Sometimes it's Bielitsa. In this case, it is Kaminga, but he had no chance at that. Remember two plays ago, DeRozan drove on Kaminga and did this little up fake and drew the foul. Kaminga is doing a better job of staying with him. Kaminga's got this arm down, one arm straight up, trying to avoid the foul, moving sideways laterally to stay with DeRozan. That's pretty good stuff. DeRozan is a great driver, so it's great that Kaminga can stay with him. In the meantime, Andre has rotated off of the corner here. So if DeRozan really wanted, the Bulls are setting this screen on the backside of this defender, which means he can't recover out to this corner guy. And so 
that person is free for three, but I think DeRozan says, hey, I can take the rookie, and he drives. And I'm not 100% who blocks this shot, but it looks like Kaminga is getting his hand on the ball here, and Andre's also got his hand there. And it's between the two of them, they stop the shot. And Andre appreciates the defense without fouling. See him giving the little hand slapped for Kaminga. You know, he's growing up fast. DeRozan wants another crack at the rookie. He's gone out of the way to ISO Kaminga. There's a little bit of a screen here. Kaminga does a good job. Lateral movement to stay with DeRozan. I assume DeRozan said something like, clear out, I want to ISO this guy. And so DeRozan actually throws some moves on him, tries to turn the corner on him, but Kaminga is pretty fast and he beats DeRozan to the spot and goes chest to chest. No foul. DeRozan tries to do a nifty spin this way, spin this way move and Kaminga doesn't go for it. Kaminga stays with it. He's got his arm straight up now. He's like, after that first foul, you know, I'm gonna be like the Statue of Liberty from now on. Straight up, my man. DeRozan bails out to number 12. Otto Porter closes out. Dosunmu attacks the closeout. There is a gap here. Number 12 can get there and put up an elbow jumper maybe, or maybe even get to the basket. Turns the corner. Kaminga with this nice dig in from the nail here. He's close enough that he could recover to DeRozan, but his little dig is very effective. I don't know if Andre has been tutoring him and the ball's just gonna go flying out. 12 does a great job of giving themselves another chance with this volleyball tap, but Otto Porter is going to go recover the ball. Nicely done. All right, that was a respectable first little run for the rookie. This is the beginning of a pick and roll for Chicago. Looks like Zach Levine can take this screen. The Warriors have been playing a lot of ice. Steph Curry is here overplaying middle to force Levine away from the middle and force him towards Bielitsa, the big who is in drop position. Zach Levine seems fine with that, so he just drives into the drop man, puts a nice little bounce pass, the 22, so Johnson can now roll into the paint. I'm not sure if the Warriors were playing a zone behind Levine. It looks like they're playing this straight up as ice, and then there's kind of like this triangular zone to guard the rest of the players. Caruso seems to think he's totally open. Andre is just parked in the middle, which is the part that's kind of zonish. Jones is evacuating, and that's going to leave Kaminga in this delicate position of having to guard two bowls on the weak side. He's very alert. This is good defense. So DeRozan and Caruso spread out to make it very hard for Kaminga to guard both of them. And here comes the first pass, and Kaminga is going to rotate properly to Caruso. And in the background, Otto Porter Jr. is gonna do a good job Xing out. So it's like they cross over to cover the man in the corner. So Kaminga gets there fast. Caruso whips it across, but Otto Porter Jr. is Xing out really nicely. And that diffuses that play. This play ends with Steph Curry contesting this jumper. Kaminga is ready for the rebound here. Things do get a little confused. Who is Kaminga supposed to be guarding at this point? He had been guarding Caruso. Now he's in the scrum and he's going to back up and box out this defender, which is, I think, a good idea because the ball looks like it's coming to Otto Porter Jr. And Otto Porter Jr. has box out position on 22. Good hustle here. He knocks the ball free and it goes straight to Caruso. So at this point, it's a scramble. Probably it would be better for Kaminga to stay with this man here who he was boxing out because Otto Porter Jr. is in position to take Caruso and Bielitsa is in position to guard Jones Jr. But Kaminga instead leaves the man and goes to Caruso which sends two men to Caruso which means danger. And Caruso very quickly reads this. A simple bounce pass to this man. Now it's a two on one against Bielitsa. Screen here, this man can go in. Bam. A small mistake from Kaminga, but maybe understandable in the scrum. It looks kind of like Andre is immediately walking over to Kaminga and saying, all right, buddy, you shouldn't have left that guy. You've been boxing him out. And have I ever told you the importance of James Watt's steam engine in launching the Industrial Revolution? The Andre is definitely lecturing him. Kaminga's next stint came at the end of the third quarter, and by this time, it was still a game. 
18 points is definitely still a game in the NBA in the third quarter. I like on this play that Kaminga is coming all the way from the other side of the court and communicating with Andre. And he's pointing, saying, I've got Zach Levine, so Andre can swoop over and take this guy. Zach Levine sees it's a rookie and he smells fried chicken. Mmm, fried chicken. And so he wants to immediately work on Kaminga. A little ball fake to the right. Kaminga stays balanced. Very nice. Gary Payton Jr. is lurking here to help if Levine tries to go left. Andre is lurking here if Levine decides to go right. So it's not really just him and Kaminga alone in a room here. Levine goes to the left. The trap immediately springs. Kaminga stays with him. GP2, good sideways motion. Levine just loses it under all the pressure. I think he just saw too many zeros, you know. Ball scoots free. And now it's off to the races. I like on this play how Kaminga is guarding Levine again. This is the dream with Kaminga. He's got the size and quickness and explosiveness that in theory he can guard just about anyone on the court. And so in my other video where we looked at his G League play, they had him guarding little point guards, they had him guarding centers, everybody. And so that's the dream. So in this case, he's guarding Zach Levine. Simple pick. Zach Levine's going to cut across. The pick is definitely going to nail Kaminga as he goes by. In fact, I think he's going to trip on this guy's foot. Kaminga tries to get around. Zach Levine just pulls up. Kaminga does get an arm in the way. I don't know how much this bothered the shot, but it can't hurt. And then he just collapses to the ground. As soon as he sees that Levine's on the ground, he says, I'm going to run. The coach told me to run. I'm going to run. Luckily, Andre gets the rebound, and you know Andre loves those long touchdown passes. Kaminga is off, a little post pattern. Andre throws it right down the middle. Right on the money. This feels like it's going to be a huge play. Look, Jordan Poole is uh, illegally on the court, gearing up, ready to jump up with a little sympathy jump for the dunk. He's ready to explode. Draymond, I think he's got two arms up saying, yo, touchdown, and... Oh, nice play from Lonzo Ball to knock the ball away. And Poole is already in the air. You know, you got to plan these things in advance so it's synchronized with the dunk. And you see he's, he's in full towel waving mode in the air. I think he's going to like spike the towel or something. And as he comes down, he's going to realize, oh, that's not a proper dunk, is it? And you can see the dejection. It's like, see, he's got his arm up. He's going to just throw it down like, Man, you're supposed to throw that down. <laughs> I got all the way up in the air. I got my favorite towel up. You really let me down, man. I mean, in a friendly way. And more seriously, Draymond Green walks right over to Kaminga. Like the ball still hasn't stopped rolling. Later, Draymond Green said that he walked over to Kaminga and he started telling him, you have power, so go make stuff happen. And you got to find a way to finish that dunk. Close up of the pep talk. It's the end of the clock. This man is coming up to set a screen for ball. They're targeting GP2 because you could pick any person you want to come up and set the screen. I think they want GP2 because he's smaller and they feel like they have some kind of advantage on him. GP2 points to Kaminga saying, I need you to switch onto this guy coming up. And Kaminga's pointing saying, okay, I'll take that guy. And he's going to peel off and he's gonna switch as he comes up for the screen. It's a little bit funny, GP2 doesn't trust. I don't know if Kaminga wasn't clear enough on the communications, but GP2 clearly does not trust that Kaminga has a message he's got to switch. GP2 like, gives him a push and he keeps following the defender until he finally sees, okay, Kaminga's going with the guy. I think he might be just continuing to say, yo, switch, 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 switch. And now he's got to recover all the way back to Caruso. That actually gives Caruso a little bit of space because GP2 should have been switching over like this but he didn't trust, so he followed the guy. He escorted his man all the way up, and now he's got to recover from this elbow. That actually gives Caruso enough space for a shot. It's interesting the very small details of defense that can be exploited in the NBA. And the Warriors got lucky, he missed. This is a high pick and roll. Our friend Jonathan Kaminga has the ball. He's going to come this way. Steph Curry, hardest working man in show business, the hardest screening small in the NBA. He comes up and he's going to set the screen. This is kind of an inverted pick and roll. And it's great when Steph sets a screen because nobody ever wants to switch off of Steph, which is a subtle superpower when you are screening. He 
it comes up, and Steph likes to really get contact on these screens. None of these Kevin Durant Insta slips. Steph is nailing this man. Lonzo Ball definitely does not want to leave Steph, which means Kaminga can turn the corner. There's a lot of space for Kaminga to drive. This is where he's comfortable. You know, the whole spot up shooting, serious work in progress, but the whole driving at the basket with some momentum, Kaminga is not bad at it already. Caruso rotates and he tries to slide in to take a charge, you see? But at the last minute, he's going to realize, you know what? Number one, I think I'm too late and this is gonna be a blocking foul. Number two, that guy is really big and coming at me really fast. Maybe this is not the correct move. And he makes a business decision and gets out of the way. And Kamenga just powers through. Very subtle little pivot by Caruso to get a little bit out of the way. And a great finish. DeRozan gets a stagger screen and a handoff. He's going to sweep around. Otto Porter Jr. is at the end of this, and I believe they want Otto Porter Jr. to switch out so that DeRozan can ISO OPJ. But Kamenga over here does a good job of running fast under the screen and catching up with DeRozan on the other side. And Otto Porter Jr. is just going to hug in tight to allow Kamenga to pass behind him. So decent communication there. DeRozan's ISO'd on Kaminga again. Now it's ISO time. Kaminga, good motion to key DeRozan out of the lane, going to the left, watching out for the spin to the right. He just forces DeRozan to settle for the mid-range jumper. Contested, straight up and down like the Statue of Liberty, I'm sure. And DeRozan misses, not bad. I'm not going to analyze the next two Bulls plays, but the important thing is that Kaminga's man drifts away to the weak side corner, so it's not like they see the rookie and they're just going to barbecue him. They're actually going away from him. But that is respect. Not bad for his first real day on the job. The next play down, Steph hand signals and waves everyone to go space out because he sees Kaminga with the ball and he wants to trigger another inverted pick and roll for the rookie. He's going to turn around and he says, okay, I'm going to screen this guy. And he's going to make a little hand motion to Kaminga saying, bring it on. You're the guy. I'm going to screen. There. Steph is setting the very flat screen here. So he's not on this side or that side. If Kaminga can just go fast, he can go either way. Flat screen. Lonzo very reluctant to leave Steph. Kaminga starting with the head of steam. Ball does switch to Kaminga. But it's only for a second. It's just a show and recover. And now Ball is back with Steph Curry. But unfortunately, Tyler Cook didn't rotate back fast enough to pick up Kaminga. So Kaminga sees a seam. He's just going to go fast. Weak side post does rotate to stop this drive. But Kaminga is coming pretty fast with a lot of momentum here. In theory, he could hit Andre for the little drop off and a dunk. But he says, hey, I can finish, and a sweet little bank shot. You think Draymond likes the aggressiveness? I think the Warriors just feel like this part of the court is part of their bench. So he's just coming out and he's gonna yell very clearly, let's go to Kaminga. You can lip read him real clear. Let's go. He likes that aggression. 